deeper. With that, we want to turn to meteorologist Cassie Nall, who's here to explain the risk for us. Cassie. Yes, so let's go ahead and talk about the alerts that we have in effect as well. So not to be forgotten, we also have a wind advisory in effect for Fentress, Cumberland, Scott, Morgan, and Campbell counties up on the plateau. As we can see wind gusts up in that area, up into that 40 to 50 mile per hour range. So any ongoing fires up there, even if they're fully contained, may flare back up or if they've been out for a couple of days as well. So we do have to watch for the gusty winds up there as well. But our main concern is going to be here in the mountains where we have that high wind warning. That's where we could have those wind gusts in that 70 to 80 mile per hour range. Now, a lot of that's going to be happening from about 2,500 feet up in elevation. So not a lot of people live in those areas, but they recreate there and there are a few folks that do. And what happens in these type of events when the winds are coming out of the east and the southeast is what we call a mountain wave event. So the wind is initially pushed upward to go up and over the mountains, but then as it goes down on the other side, it increases in speed because of various scientific factors. We'll keep it simple here for this particular weather hit and then kind of goes through a rippling effect and that can bring those strong winds down into more populated areas in the foothills as well. Look at how this works as we go through the rest of this afternoon. Look at the bright colors really flare up here. Winds gusting as high as 45 miles per hour in Gatlinburg City proper by 11 p.m. tonight. The winds stay strong overnight and now look, here's the plateau starting to kick up as we start off our Tuesday morning. We'll see these winds continuing to rip through the mountains all the way through Tuesday morning. The peak time frame for these wind gusts is going to be from midnight until early tomorrow afternoon. That's when we'll finally start to see that cold front coming in from the west. We'll see the wind shift direction and the rain by that point should start to spread across the area. We'll talk more about that timing and take a look at that future cast radar for you coming up in just a little bit. Uh, the map's telling the story for us. Thanks for the explanation, Cassie.